Last week, Prime Minister Netanyahu departed for a historic visit to Africa, but many Israeli politicians criticize the goal of his trip. While the trip has sparked controversy, some believe that renewing diplomatic ties with African countries will benefit Israel's economy and security, and more importantly, its international reputation. Joining us now in the studio is Dr. Ofer Israel to tell us more. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. So is Africa really a geostrategic destination for Israel? I think that Africa is uh, very important to Israel from a few, a few points. Uh, the first point, in my opinion, is actually not a geostrategic uh, point, but actually uh, the moral issue. Uh, while we are talking ab about Africa, a uh, very poor uh, uh, destination, very, the people there need the help of the, the developing world. And Israel, one of the leading states, I think, in the world, uh, with its econ economy and what we are calling the startup nation, I think that we, that we should, uh, to lead maybe, the international uh, effort to help Africa, to build herself and actually the African to support themselves by themselves. Right, to develop the resources from water irrigation. I mean, we already see a lot of Israeli companies mm -hmm. that are actually, you know, helping mm -hmm. African nations develop their economies and infrastructure. So, you know, let's talk about the economy. Mm -hmm. Can the Israeli economy benefit from these ties with Africa? For sure. I think that uh, Israel can benefit from Africa and Africa uh, vice versa can benefit from the, the relation, the economy relation between the two sides. As, we, as you said, there is already few uh, um, few uh, companies, Israeli companies, who are uh, working in Africa. And I think that this visit of the Prime Minister uh, can actually uh, get tight the connection, the, the economic connection between the sides. And Israel, as you said, can benefit, it, uh, can benefit from this uh, from now on. Now, talking about you know, economic benefits, there are also a lot of large-scale arm deals uh, and defense corporations uh, working in Africa. Is that, could that possibly damage Israel's international reputation if Israel continues to sell arms to countries that are considered to maybe be human rights violators? So we should connect this uh, to the first point. I think that if Israel uh, will sell arms to Africa, to uh, African countries, we should take the moral issue here as well. So don't say, we, we don't need to sell to everyone, but we should consider very carefully uh, for whom we are uh, selling these arms. Absolutely. Now, talking about diplomatic status and how that influences it, you know, Israel already has various prosperous uh, trade ties with companies like Egypt, for example, mm -hmm. you know, and it seems to have an effect um, on our diplomatic position. Mm -hmm. Yet, can we really, ex you know, expect the support of African Muslim countries if we start to work with them? In Africa, there is uh, 54 countries which is uh, more the quarter of the seats in the UN, uh, uh, in, in the UN, in the UN Assembly. So if we can move 10 of them to our side, I think that it would be enough. We don't need to expect to, uh, to receive or to get the support from the entire, uh, entire African countries. But as we said, we can go step by step and move a uh, few countries in the beginning and then actually there is a uh, possibility also to influence uh, some of the uh, Muslim countries in Africa in my opinion. And we already see that the Egyptian foreign minister mm -hmm. just came and visited Israel mm -hmm. you know this week. Is that in any way related to this yeah. historic trip? That for sure, for sure. Uh, the Prime Minister was in a very good relation with uh, uh, um, Egypt, uh, Egypt uh, leader, Assisi, and he need, Assisi needs uh, the Prime Minister help uh, with his discussion with et Ethiopia uh, about few issues relating to the, uh, the Nile River, and I think that we are al already see the benefits of the Prime Minister visit to Africa just now with this visit to Israel. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the future of Israeli-African ties. Thank you for coming in. Thank you.